In this part of Iceland is one of the world's most active volcanic hotspots. Krafla has erupted 30 times in a thousand years and last blew in the 1980s. And though it may sound crazy, scientists are now preparing to drill into it. The idea is to learn more about how volcanoes behave so that we can better predict eruptions and also tap into a super hot source of energy. Volcanoes can be spectacular, but they're also devastating. Around the world, millions of people live close to them. Here in Iceland, residents of Grindavik have had their lives upended by a string of eruptions. But researchers here hope their work will change that, helping to save lives and money, while also pioneering a form of volcano power. We have about 40 wells spread around the geothermal field, producing a mixture of hot water and steam. This plant supplies electricity to about 30,000 homes. Soon after it began operations five decades ago, Krafla began to wake up again. We started to have volcanic eruption only two kilometers away from where we are standing now. This was a very strong indication about where the heat was coming from. Using those new clues, scientists began drilling in this spot, where in 2009, they stumbled across an extraordinary discovery, a shallow pocket of magma. We were aiming to drill to 4.5 kilometers and we're absolutely not expecting to hit magma at only 2.1 kilometer depth. Much closer to the surface than scientists ever imagined, the extreme heat from this molten rock destroyed their equipment. We were able to measure the power that comes out of it. This well produced about 10 times more than the average well in this location, giving us a very strong indication of the extremely powerful resource that we may be setting up. Now a team from KMT, the Krafla Magma Testbed Project, want to find it again. Right here, two kilometers down, is a red hot magma chamber, and scientists are preparing to drill down into it. Starting in 2026, they'll begin work on the first ever underground magma observatory. We are basically standing on the spot where we are going to drill. What we want to do is to basically revolutionize the way we monitor volcanoes. The plan is to place sensors in the magma, temperature and pressure sensors. This will allow us to predict with more accuracy volcanic activity. So this will change uh, how we predict uh, eruptions. With the second well, they'll harness that extreme heat, developing what's called near magma geothermal. The plan is to drill just short of the magma itself, possibly poke it a little bit with the geothermal resource, which is located just above the magma body. We believe that is around five to 600 degrees Celsius. Just two boreholes of this kind could match the output of this entire plant. We now today need to feed the power plant with 22 normal wells. So there is an obvious uh, game changer. And there's the exciting possibility of potentially limitless cheap clean energy. This is a big part of how we are going to take geothermal to the next level and also of course a huge part in the green energy transition. But the drilling will be technically challenging. At the University of Iceland, lab work is underway testing materials to withstand extreme heat and pressure. This is carbon steel, so the typical material used in the geothermal wells. These carbon steel materials lose strength quite quickly after 200 degrees Celsius, and they are also not corrosion resistant. So we have to explore new materials and more corrosion resistant alloys. They're working with temperatures of up to 500 degrees and corrosive gases. We have been focusing on uh, high-grade alloys, nickel alloys and also titanium alloys. But there's still one question I need to ask. From the outside, all this sounds 
you know, just a little bit risky. Is it going to be safe to do this? We believe that sticking a needle into a huge magma chamber is not going to uh, create an explosive effect. This happened in 2009 and they found out that they had probably done this a few times before without even knowing it. So uh, we believe it's safe. And the team here think this could be replicated around the world. There are indications about shallow magma bodies in East Africa, in the US and in Hawaii. Possibly this kind of geothermal power production can be applied in many, many other locations around the world where we have active volcanoes. So this crazy sounding plan may actually have huge potential.